Well, 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 looks like all these anti-vaccine morons have found a new darling drug that was never meant to treat a viral pandemic. It's called ivermectin. And just saying that name has already stripped this video of all of its monetization. Now, ivermectin is meant to treat parasitic worms in both people and horses. But since the people version's all sold out everywhere, uh, they're turning to the horse variety and poisoning themselves. Spike in ivermectin drug poisonings. Dozens of Floridians are showing up at hospitals for poisoning after taking a horse deworming drug to try and treat COVID-19. Both the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control have issued warnings to not take the drug ivermectin. Hey, you see right there on the box? Uh, that's meant for something with the weight of a horse. That's not meant for a human body. It is a medication meant for livestock, not humans. The Florida Poison Control Center says it already treated 27 patients who took that drug this month. And you know, we've seen a million times what the comment section for one of these videos looks like. Use the human grade, not the horse dewormer, LOL. It's harder to get the human pills unless you live near the border. Do your research. Ivermectin works. It works, people. Story lacks details. Thousands have taken this with no problem. Doctors won't give the human version in fear of big pharma. We're left with the horse version in some cases. Unfortunately, veterinarians are more reliable than doctors. Oh boy, I'd sure hate to be a worm right now. You guys are gonna make parasitic worms Worms go extinct with all this horse paste you're eating. I'll bet your painful side effects, seizure shits, and heart attack turds dropping out of your pant legs are rolling into the sores and changing the entire wastewater ecosystem into a place where no worm will ever thrive again. Anyway, I won't offend you by telling you what to do because I'm assuming we're all adults here. So if you want to act like you know what you're doing, that's totally cool with me, especially if it kills you. And post. I mean, come on, who's with me here? If this kills them, uh, who cares? Well, actually, uh, I happen to care quite a bit, Eric. Who the fuck are you? I'm Dr. DeWormer, licensed physician, and I think you're being a little harsh on this wonderful drug. Uh, yeah, listen, Dr. DeWormer, I kind of have a lesson plan to do here. I'm going to shit all over these people for 15 minutes straight. Oh, boring. Hey, why don't you let Dr. DeWormer speak for the silent majority here? They deserve a voice. No, they don't, but all right, Dr. DeWormer, you can join me for this one lesson, just so I can prove you wrong. And students at home, I'm going to show you why just shitting all over these people is always the right choice. Splendid! Oh, we're going to kill a lot of worms. <laughs> what? Oh, well, oh, I didn't say anything. A cheers, and welcome to the show. Now, I've done a ton of these types of videos where I focus on people who ignore actual proven medical advice because they think they know better. And I guess the latest fad is this horse paste shit, which I don't even know how that works. Well, it's not just for horses, Eric. It's prescribed for people at lower doses. Oh, I know. It's just funnier when you call it horse paste. Plus, how does it even treat a virus? Well, don't worry. I have a video that explains everything. Check it out. All right, what do we got? FDA-approved drug ivermectin inhibits replication of SARS-CoV-2 COVID-19 treatment. Wow, I'm surprised something with that title is even allowed on YouTube. You know they're cracking down on that shit, right? Oh, yeah, big time. You can't even mention the darn thing without getting in a lot of trouble. All right, well, I guess let's watch this before it gets deleted and play. Can ivermectin be used to treat COVID-19? This is what we are going to discuss in this video. Whoa, I like this guy's style. The trials so far have shown ivermectin reduces the number of cell-associated viral DNA by 99.8% in 24 hours. This was an in vitro study, which means they were testing cells in the laboratory and not in the living organisms. All right, this guy sounds like he knows what he's talking about, but that could be anyone. Ivermectin is currently used to treat parasitic infections such as intestinal worms, lice, and mites. Recently, ivermectin has also been studied to treat a range of viruses. So the point over here is, how does this ivermectin work on COVID-19? So when we talk about this novel coronavirus, that is SARS coronavirus 2, this virus to make you sick, it has to first infect your cells. Secondly, it has to go into a bubble in the middle of the cell. I actually didn't know that. So this ivermectin is a drug thought to block the cargo transporter, which means the virus cannot go inside the nucleus. So it cannot make copies of itself. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's how it works. 
Is this proven? Well, we're doing studies, but it can't hurt to find out unless you're a worm. Uh, yeah, well, it looks like we got some study results in the comments here. A year and many unnecessary funerals later, and ivermectin use is still resisted by authorities. I had COVID long haul for nine months and very nearly died. I was in an endless loop of suffering. I took ivermectin and was better within 48 hours. Spread the word to anyone you know who is suffering. We can't rely only in vaccines. There should always be an alternative ways. How many lives could have been saved? I have used in 400 plus patients found it very effective in first week of disease. Oh yeah, that's a lot of dead worms. Hey, Eric, you mind if I leave this comment? I'm afraid you're just gonna make fun of these people. That was my intention, but uh, okay, you go ahead, Dr. Dewormer, leave your comment. Most people have worms and don't know it. I took it and got rid of the parasites. I feel much better, but die-off symptoms are interesting. Very cool vision anomalies and strange dreams and loose bowels. Got them all out. I'm so happy I'm rid of those vermin. And... Oh, worm nuts. Someone already posted the same exact comment. Oof. Ugh. Gotta hate that. All right, my turn. SARS-CoV-2 does not conform to the central dogma of molecular biology. The virus presents to the cytoplasm as a positive sense single-stranded RNA plus ssRNA, where it is translated by ribosomes into two polypeptides, PP1A and PP1AB, followed by a second translation into spike, envelope, membrane, and nucleocapsid proteins, which merge into the endoplasmic reticulum of the Golgi apparatus, thereby forming a copy of itself. Ivermectin acts on the nucleus. However, the entire replication of SARS-CoV-2 circumvents entry into the nucleus as it comes prepackaged as a plus SS RNA. Ivermectin would therefore be completely ineffective in the inhibition of SARS-CoV-2. And put off. Fuck, someone already posted my same exact comment too. Oh, what are the odds? Well, it's all right, you were both wrong anyway. Just go ask Joe Rogan. Ask Joe, ask Joe Rogan what? Hello friends. So I got back from the road Saturday night feeling very weary. I had a headache and I just felt just run down. And just to be cautious, I separated from my family, slept in a different part of the house. And throughout the night, I got fevers and sweats and I knew what was going on. So I got up in the morning, got tested and it turns out I got COVID. Oh, well, of course he got COVID. He, he refused the vaccine. Do you know how many lives he could have saved if he had said the vaccine was safe? I thought you didn't care if they died. Yeah, you're right. I don't care. I was just virtue signaling for my audience. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds. Monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, Z-Pak, uh, prednisone, everything. Uh, and I also got an NAD drip and a vitamin drip. And I did that three days in a row. And so... Here we are on Wednesday, and I feel great. You'll see, he took ivermectin and he's feeling gangbusters. Oh, please, he took a bunch of shit. Any of those things could have helped. At least he doesn't have any worms. What is your deal with worms? Uh, can regular people get that treatment, or is that only for the rich and famous? Amazing what you can do with an unlimited amount of money. Who would have thought? Ivermectin? You, you out of your mind? Ivermectin is a dewormer. Well, as we all saw in the previous video, it's not just the dewormer, so that argument's actually kind of getting annoying, but uh, still not as annoying as people who are choosing some random drug over the vaccine made for the virus. I'm not really sure how to comment on this, but hey. It's Joe Rogan. It's not like he can read it. I don't know why everyone hates this guy so much. He's a meathead who does DMT and has enough money to say whatever he wants. We've probably all agreed with Joe Rogan about something at some point, which is to say everyone is a complete idiot in their own special way. In this case, some of those people just have less worms than others. Tell you what though, elk meat has a lot of worms, so it's probably good that Joe was able to shit them all out into his pants while having a seizure. And commented. Hey Eric, who's that on your couch? On my couch? Hey Eric, did you hear about Liam Neeson? Oh fuck, not another fucking haircut ghost. Oh, oh, wait a second. What happened to Liam Neeson? Is he okay? Oh, no, no, he's fine. I just found out he's got a huge dick. Anyway, this lesson's brought to you by Raycons. I don't get it. This lesson brought to you by Raycon. All right, folks, this is going to be the first take for Jimbo Jarvis's new single. Everyone ready? Jimbo? Boy, howdy. Hey, let's make this quick, huh? Hey, Jimbo, you see those Raycons on the chair? Go ahead and pop those in. Those are for playback. Raycons? Yeah, baby, they're the everyday earbuds. Seamless Bluetooth pairing, perfect for when you're on the go. Plus, we got them from buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off our order. Ooh, that's a comfortable fit. Sleek. You look great, honey. Roll camera, playback, action. Oh, baby, my darling, won't you come home to me? I ain't seen you for way too long I see your sweet face only when I'm asleep 
So come on back, I will leave the light on I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a foolish old man And I will stand up for this love So baby, my darling Jimbo! Yeah. Alright, cut, we're gonna go again Jimbo, baby, you gotta sing along with the song. Oh man, I'm sorry. It's just I've never heard my song sound so good before. What do you call these things? Raycons. Raycons. Man, they sound just as good as other top audio brands on the market. Yeah, and they're like half the price. Go to buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off your order. And I'm guessing this case here, this is some sort of portable charging case, keeps them charged on the go. You bet! But we're not here to talk about wireless earbuds that give you a 45-day happiness guarantee. Well, all right. Hey, I'm sorry, fellas. Why, why don't we go again, huh? All right. Rolling. Playback. Action. Oh, baby, my darling, won't you come home to me? I ain't seen you for way too long. Oh, son of a bitch! Jimbo! What is happening? Jimbo! Yeah, Chief! Uh... Jimbo, baby, you're killing me! This is a music video, we need to see the mouth moving, you're just standing there drooling all over yourself! Oh, yeah, r right, the song. Okay, we still rolling? Let's go. Look, dude, do you just want us to play the song out of some speakers? No, I want to use the Raycons, so why don't we start from the top? All right, cue playback, and he's already gone. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this guy. Hey, uh, we got a microphone around here. I want to re-record this song. What are you talking about? Nah, these lyrics ain't no good. I I'm gonna rewrite them. Isn't this song about your dead wife? Oh uh, yeah, it was. All right, let's get me a boom mic. Hey, put that thing down here over by my mouth. Yeah. We don't have time for this, Jimbo. Oh, won't take but a moment. Let's start that playback again in my Raycons. I love my Raycons, and boy, they love me. I wear my Raycons all day long. Yes, I do. If Raycons were a man, well, then I'd probably be gay. And I'd let them do whatever they want. I would. And if Raycons were a woman, well, that'd be just as sweet. Her voice like an angel song, yeah. Oh, I love my Raycons, and boy, they love me. I just wish they were big enough to fuck. See, made it better. That was the most amazing song I have ever heard. Thank you, Raycons. Hey, you mind if I keep these things? <laughs> no, fuck you, they're mine. Sing for joy when you go to buyraycon.com slash big money, 15% off your order. Hey, Eric, you want to see the Facebook page I just set up for ivermectin flax? Dr. DeWormer, why are you trying to encourage these people so much? What's your plan? Well, I just think they need a voice. Check it out, it's called We're All Horses on the Inside. Well, I'm sure that's going to go just as well as all the other Ivermectin Facebook groups out there. Ivermectin versus COVID. Hello, before diving in at full dose for prevention yesterday, I tried one tablet, three milligrams, and a few hours later I had inflammation like conjunctivitis. Has anyone experienced that and should I worry and not take it? Thank you. Take more to treat the conjunctivitis. Yeah, stop taking it. You are not a horse. Get vaxxed, protect your community. Double mask, yes, but no poison for me, thank you. The countries with higher vax rates have the highest infections, and there are lots of vax dying of suddenly of hair attacks and blood clots. Russian roulette is safer. No poison for me, just fucking horse dewormer. Hello, has anybody heard of adding DN to their ivermectin dose? Heard it reduces the side effects drastically. What's DN? Oh, he got him with the D's nuts. Can I put it up my cooch? All right, Dr. DeWormer, it looks like we've got some skeptics in here. You want to show them why they're wrong to judge? Well, I'd love to, Eric, but my Facebook account just got deleted for posting pro-ivermectin research. Really? That's kind of aggressive. I told you these people need a voice. Well, I still think ivermectin's bullshit. Therefore, I could post whatever the fuck I want. Hey, everyone, just to be completely clear, I understand this medicine is also meant for humans and it has been shown to impede viral infections in cells. That said, fuck you all, here's a goatsy. And goatsy. Oh, real but sure, Eric. Why do you have to be so mean to them? Because they're a lost cause. Maybe this ivermectin works. Maybe it doesn't. I can admit that I don't know. They can't. 
So fuck them. Well, I don't think they're a lost cause. In fact, I think they're very important. Say, can you retweet something for me? I just sent you a link. Yeah, I'll retweet something for you. What you got? Well, hey guys, this is Dr. The Warmer. I just want to let you know that they only take the medicine that's for the humans. Don't take anything that's made for farm animals, because I wouldn't want to see you hurt. Unless you're a little worm. Well, I don't want to see you in a toilet. And maybe later, there's something I can tell you about that's also really good and cures everything, because I know you like finding cures all over the place. So maybe I can tell you about something in secret that would be really good to take. I'll let you know later. Oh, okay, cool. And retweet. Oh, hi, Todd Clorox. Todd, is that you? What? Who's that? I'm Dr. The Warmer. I see your investigation. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention to anything of what just happened. I'm too busy looking at this ivermectin subreddit. Oh, cool. I bet there's a lot of great people on there. Man, this place is hilarious. It started off with, like, serious discussion of ivermectin, but now it's a complete shit show. Sure enough, we got a cartoon of Goatsy right here and Columbus. Good morning, you horse fuckers. That's just an anime woman getting fucked by a horse. Oh, that's disgusting. Ivermectin reactions. Case study. Nope, just more horse porn. Yeah, I fucked a horse. Because the FDA told me not to, and now I have 15 STDs and my dick is falling apart. Fuck yeah, I'm glad to be here with all my fellow caveman brains. I didn't have any horse porn, but here's a shirtless old man. This is brought to you by Raycon. How'd they know? All right. Anyway, Dr. DeWormer, what do you think of the shirtless old man strategy? No! Hey, you okay, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. It's just that I hate... I hate seeing people with nobody to speak up for them. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm Dr. The Warmer. Yeah, whatever, bro. Hey, check this out. I just posted a video on how to jack off horses. I like the penis to be dried off. <laughs> yeah, wait, what's this? Hey, guys, I'm Dr. The Warmer, and I just want to let you know I've been trying this Invectrum stuff, and it's very, very helpful for my COVID. Also got rid of all my worms. But you know what's even more helpful for COVID? It's just a tiny little bit of bleach. I put a little bit of bleach in my body and poof, bye bye worms, bye bye COVID, it's all gone. I'm Dr. DeWormer. I'm telling you to drink bleach. Just a little bit. That's all you need. You feel great. I'm not Todd Clorox. I'm not. I'm Dr. DeWormer. Can't you see? Look. This guy looks a lot like Todd Clorox to me. Dr. DeWormer, what is this? Whoops, <laughs> gotta go. Well, that was suspicious, and oh, looks like he's losing his mind on Twitter right now. Look, okay, I don't know who you fucking people are talking about. I'm not anyone named Todd. I am Dr. DeWormer, and I've been working on this fucking plan for too long for you all to fuck it up. Uh, let me have this. Just let me have this. I'm not Todd Clorox. I just have a Clorox plan. Wait, shit. Todd Clorox, you ain't slick. We know it's you. Is Dr. DeWormer Todd Clorox? I'm Dr. DeWormer, I swear. Okay, Dr. Todd. Okay, Todd. This won't get you the hat, Todd. What the fuck? are you people doing to my Facebook group? We're all horses on the inside. I can't show this to anyone if it looks like that. Please, please leave my Facebook group alone. I need this. I've been working on this my whole life. Well, good for you. Hope you're happy. Yeah, you beat Todd Clorox again, so I'm just gonna go away, and I'll see you in your dreams tonight. I was Todd Clorox the whole time. Okay, so it was Todd Clorox the whole time. I, I knew he looked familiar. Well, that solves that, and it solves nothing else. I still have no idea if ivermectin actually treats COVID. And uh, guess what? I don't fucking care. Um, it really doesn't matter to me one way or the other. But if you're still on the fence at home, just think of it this way. If ivermectin really cured COVID, why would Merck, the supplier of the drug, come out and say not to take it? it? Says right here, no scientific basis for a potential therapeutic effect against COVID-19. And we all know that if a pharmaceutical company saw that they could make money off of one of their drugs, uh, they certainly would.
Uh, what's this? Merck to supply U.S. government with oral antiviral drug used to treat COVID. Oh, shit. Come on. Uh, meantime, Merck will supply an oral antiviral medication intended to treat mild to moderate COVID-19 to the U.S. government in a new procurement agreement. Oh, damn it. This is going to make everybody think that the... Uh, it's already started. AKA Ivermectin. Look under the hood, it's mostly Ivermectin, but new package and expensive name. Do you see now that Merck's statement against Ivermectin, no patent was tainted with conflict of interests? Yeah, but Ivermectin with new name and price tag. It's so Ivermectin, ha <laughs> ha. The pandemic that never was. Sure it wasn't, buddy. All right, well, allow me to leave my final thoughts uh, thusly. How do we keep people safe from themselves? Surely the greater health of the world relies on helping those who would be stupid enough to injure themselves with the horse version of a medicine the internet told them to take. Because they're out there. Those poor stupid pieces of shit are out there right now thinking, this apple flavored paste is my only chance. If I do this, I'll be one of the select few who make it out of this okay. And then they go blind while shitting themselves to death, only for their corpse to get made fun of once again by the internet. I don't like the way all this stuff's been censored online any more than you. Mostly because of all the confirmation bias it provides. But if you want to stop being treated like fucking children, then please stop allowing the internet to imprint itself onto your brains as if you have no critical reason skills whatsoever. You're ruining the internet for the rest of us by running around like it's some kind of suicide club for baby boomers. I would love to be able to make fun of your stupidity and not get a strike on my YouTube channel because this platform is too fucking stupid to know the difference between advice and parody. Tell you what, if you care so much about your own health, I think the healthiest thing would be if you just go live off the grid. Go find a cabin in the woods and maybe when you die you can let the forest consume you into its ecosystem. Let's see how many trees that kills with all the experimental treatments you've jammed in your body over however many years without question or proper research because at the end of the day if you're willing to gamble with unproven medicine if you're desperate enough to purchase something meant for a thousand pound animal and guess at the human dosage how close are you to drinking bleach because i'd really like to know <laughs> and post You ever wonder if a t-shirt could cure diseases? Well, wonder no more, because right now in the NeonGrizzly.com store, we got all the high-quality cotton to keep you healthy. We're talking seizure investigation camo, posters and stickers, and all the best merch to make sure you live through the night. Put this Nobleberry poster on your wall, and Deep State is gonna lose any radio signals coming from the chip in your arm. NeonGrizzly.com. It's merch. Big money, sir.